Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I have got the biggest vertical haul I've ever done. And I know that's saying something because some of them have been absolutely massive, but you guys just seem to love their stuff so much and so do I. So we've got a lot to get through. And hands down, I know I say this every time, but these are honestly some of my favorite bits ever. I've got such a huge range of things. I've got cargo trousers, motocross jackets, jumpers, hoodies, knitwear, little crop tops as well. I've literally got so much stuff to get through. One final thing before we crack on into the video, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I noticed that quite a few people that do watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. And if you did, it would really mean so, so much. I know you guys like these videos. I know there are lots of returning viewers. Anyways, let's crack on with the video. I'm so excited to show you guys these bits. The first thing I picked up is actually a biker motocross jacket, racing jacket, one of those. Now I have got a fairly substantial collection of these now but i just love them i think they make any outfit look so so cool this is the one that i picked up it's like cream red black and like a little bit of yellow on it as well this is what the back looks like you'll see it's so much better on the try-on clip i'll leave the try-ons here i did do all the try-ons before i filmed this video so i know how these bits fit and the fit of this is unbelievable i picked it up in a small i'm between a six to an eight but i do like these kind of items quite oversized when i tell you the quality of this is absolutely gorgeous as you can tell there's a bit more cream on the front and then you've just got the red accents that lead onto the back it says flaming sheer adrenaline so it's obviously very road biking inspired that is the whole point so some of the writing can sometimes be a little bit questionable but it's stunning it's also kind of cuffed at the bottom as well around the waist and also on the arms one thing i will say though you know faux leather because obviously this is faux leather it stinks sometimes and like this just has the worst fishy smell ever I might even hang it outside my window to be honest because it's not unbearable but it's not exactly pleasant that's the only drawback but the attention to detail on these jackets i don't think i've ever gone into this much detail before all the writing is embroidered on so you're not going to get anything's peeling away it just makes the whole thing look so much more expensive i absolutely love these i've got another one from bashka as well like a blue and black one i think from one of my previous videos i'll leave it up here but honestly i will keep getting these because they're so easy to wear you can literally chuck them on i usually wear them with a pair of cargo trousers probably these ones like black parachute pants cargo trousers anything like that and they just make an outfit look sick so highly recommend you picking one of these up especially if you want your wardrobe to be a little bit spicier like they're sick they're so sick and also they're quite warm for this this time of year it's, it's ideal next piece is actually headed on to quite a different vibe I'm not gonna lie it's very very contrasting from the last piece i showed you and that is this little crop top here i know what you're all thinking is that zara now as some of you might know bershka and zara are actually sister brands so they do do quite a lot of the same stuff this top on zara went completely viral like i think it was the gray one and i think it was slightly different to be honest because i think instead of being sequins it was um i don't know it just wasn't sequins i'm pretty sure the zara one wasn't sequins this one as you can tell it is so i'm not sure if i love it from too close up but really once you put it on you'll see in the trial clip it just looks gorgeous sparkly it sits beautifully as well like the cut is amazing at the back it's got this little triangular cutout and it literally just sits over your boobs really really nice it's so flattering i absolutely love it i'm thinking kind of a new year's eve vibe potentially although i have no idea what i'm going to be wearing for new year's given i'm going to be in the mountains so probably not this but if you were doing a New Year's Eve in England, this would be literally the way to go. It's so lightweight, it's so comfy because obviously it's lined inside as well. But yeah, absolutely stunning. Highly, highly recommend. I don't even think she was that expensive. But as always, I will leave all the links down below for you to shop if you want to. By now, we all know that I love a pair of parachute pants or cargo trousers. I feel like if you watch my hauls, there's always a pair of cargo trousers or parachute pants or both. This haul is no exception, I'm afraid. There are some parachute pants in here. However, they're corduroy. I don't have anything corduroy in my wardrobe at all, I don't think. So when these kind of popped up on my suggested, I thought, yeah, do you know what? I'm going to try them. And I have absolutely no regrets. For winter as well, these are so much cosier than regular parachute pant material. First off, the material is a lot thicker. It's obviously got the corduroy rib on it as well as always it's got the adjustable waist i got these in a small and they fit perfectly like literally 
I could not fault the fit one bit. But they are just a pretty standard pair of cargo trousers. Aside from that, it's just the fact that they're corduroy. As always, you can cuff the bottoms if you want, the trouser legs. The ability to do this actually really helps if you're shorter. Like, it honestly makes every single pair of parachute pants so much more wearable for me. I can cuff them and then they sit nicely over the top of my trainers and don't drag on the floor. As you will see in the try on clip, these are ever so slightly long for me, but once I put a chunky pair of trousers, a chunky pair of trousers, a chunky pair of shoes on, I will be absolutely fine. As always, they've got an elasticated waist and you can also tighten the waist and loosen the waist as you prefer to with the drawstrings on the side. But how gorgeous is the color? Like it's very autumn winter, I wanna say. I just love them so much. I feel like these skiing, like for a little at prey would be gorge. Not 100% sure how I'd style them in terms of like coats and jackets, but as you saw in the trial clip, I literally just wore it with a little white crop top. I think it'll be quite versatile, I'll be honest. It's not one of those colours that you can't style with many things, especially if you're into your colour blocking trends. I think you'll be absolutely fine with this. Right, the next thing I picked up is a hoodie. Now, it is a very graphic hoodie in terms of the print on it, but like, look at the front of it. It's giving skater and that's not my vibe at all, as you can probably see. I mean, what is my vibe? It varies. It really does vary. But the reason I picked it up is that I picked up a hoodie in one of my first Bershka hauls. I think it was my first Bershka haul ever. And you guys were asking literally all over TikTok where I got it from, what size I got, etc, etc. So I wanted to pick up another one. Obviously, the print on this is crazy. I love the contrast between the black and the really brightly coloured lettering. As you can tell, it's graffiti style. You've also got some down the arms as well. And also on the hood. I don't know what drew me to this but I thought it was sick I think I love the contrast I definitely think with some parachute pants you could make a really sick outfit with this and I do absolutely love it the only thing I will say is that it doesn't have any pockets like a normal hoodie would like in the front which I actually love I find really useful like I'll chuck my keys in there or whatever and it's also not the thickest so if you're banking on this to keep you super 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 snug in winter I think you'll need to layer up a bit more it's just annoying because the print is gorgeous I think coming into your spring summer time this might be a whole lot better because yes it's an extra layer but it's not super super warm so maybe that's gonna be the vibe i don't really know but then it is quite dark so it's more wintry i don't know i love it i'm gonna wear it i think it might just be more for chilling around the house but who knows who knows i might think of a really cool outfit and just brave the cold also i'm trying to let my curls drop because i'm going to london today and also to geneva tonight and they just won't drop at all so they're very very curly anyways i also picked up some more trousers now i had a gorgeous pair of bershka trousers they were pretty i mean plain they were just beige with a button and they were wide leg and i absolutely loved them and somehow i got black wax all over them and it just never came off now i can't find them which is so unfortunate because those were my favorite pair of trousers anyway because i love their wide legs i thought i'd pick up another pair I've seen trousers like this all over TikTok. Now, I don't know what it is about this white waistband, whether it looks like you've got something sticking over the top of your trousers, whether you've got something folded over, whether you've folded, oh, is it maybe if to look like you folded the hem down? Maybe. Oh yeah, of course it is. Mm, I don't know. It's folding over the hem, kind of like if you went like that. It's, it's quite a trendy thing to do. I don't know. I don't keep up with every single trend, as you can probably tell. I love the top detailing. I've seen it all over TikTok. I don't know if the original ones are from Bershka or if these are kind of a knockoff of somewhere more expensive. They're khaki and I thought the contrast against the white was really nice. Chucked on with a white top in the try-on. I loved it. These fit really, really nicely as well. I think these are an eight. Oh no, they're a six. These are a UK six and they, yeah, they fit really nice. The only thing I would say is they're ever so slightly squeezing on the bum a little bit. It's not the end of the world. It does happen on trousers sometimes. It's very difficult to get the perfect mix between leg tightness, waist tightness and bum tightness. I feel like it's almost impossible. There's actually not much more than that. They've got pockets on the side, but they do have some fake pockets. Unfortunately, at the back, you know, that is my biggest pet peeve. But aside from that, I really do enjoy these. I think they're lovely. I could wear them to work. I could wear them like shopping. I could wear them. At... <sighs> the possibilities are endless and I think they're really cute. I just hope the waistband doesn't go out like off trend really, really quick because I feel like it's one of those things that could 
So I'm hoping that doesn't happen so I can actually get the wear out of these that I want to. Next up, I have bought a very, very, very nice kind of long coat. It's bloody freezing in Manchester at the moment as you can probably imagine. I mean, the sun's out right now, but it is tricking us, I promise you. It is freezing. This is gonna be so hard to show you. This is her. Now she is just a cream, long, pocketed, buttoned coat. It's essentially like a long wool blazer is the way I'm gonna describe it. I don't know if that gives you an idea. It's kind of white, but creamy at the same time. And I think with a top like this underneath, it could look really cute with blue jeans. I think the color could look absolutely stunning. What I love about this is it's got some really big pockets in the side too, as you can see here. Perfect for weather like this where it's freezing or if you wanted to store things in the pockets, it's literally perfect. I love the buttons down the front too. It's not kind of trench style because it doesn't have the belt that comes around, although I'm sure you could find a belt somewhere if you wanted one. But those long kind of straight coats at the minute, I'm absolutely loving. I actually got one from PLT. I'll leave picture here which is like khaki and it's stunning it literally almost goes down to the floor to be honest it's a bit longer than this i'm obsessed with those kind of coats now especially because it's so cold they're such a vibe and i think they are formal yes in some ways but you can dress them down as well honestly i've worn my green one with trackies before and it's it's been fine so i highly recommend this i think it was about 80 pounds 70 or 80 pounds as i said the links are all down below if you did want to shop things because it's around black friday around christmas i don't know if they do have any nice sales on if they do i would highly recommend picking this up because the quality is sensational it's obviously lined inside as well. And I actually picked this up in an extra small and it was still fairly, not oversized, but well fitting, if that makes sense. Usually in coats, I would pick up a small. So I'd say I downsized for, like if I compare to what I usually buy in coats. So definitely bear that in mind. I'd say if you're a six to an eight, definitely pick up the extra small, eight to 10, small, and so on and so forth. I'm so happy with this purchase. It's so cozy as well. Like I'm literally hugging it right now to try and keep myself warm and it's doing bits. Now I actually have a few jumpers to finish off the haul. All various styles to be honest. So this is a quarter zip sweatshirt. I actually don't know what it says on the front. San Diego, California, state of California. It's really cute. It's blue. It's got this piping down the sleeve and over the front too. I love a quarter zip. I think they're so cute. I think they give very much Princess Diana vibes, but they just do. And I love, I literally love the look of them. It's very, very oversized. I won't lie. I picked this up in a small. I definitely could have gotten away with an extra small, just more because of the length as opposed to like how boxy it is because I do love a boxy jumper. As you'll be able to see on the trunk clip, it's absolutely fine once you tuck it in. I just think this is so cute. It's so cozy. Like it goes with so many things. I think it just looks effortlessly cool. It's almost like a bit, are they vintage? I guess they're kind of like vintage inspired. It's safe to say I'm gonna be wearing this a lot, whether that's for chilling, whether it's for going to like rugby games or anything like that. I just, I just love her. And I love navy as well for the winter. I think it's such a gorgeous color. It's one of those colors that's always in, like I've never not known navy to be in. And navy and white as well has a very special place in my heart. So I love this combo. And finally, I just picked up this little sage green cropped jumper. It's cuffed on the sleeve. It's got a really gorgeous neckline too. It's like a high neck like a turtleneck but it's not one that you need to fold over like it's already just the perfect length it's so soft like i don't even know how to describe the material but it is so 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 soft like buttery soft i absolutely love it cuffs on the sleeve as well i think it's such a nice touch because you can roll them up and it just looks it looks stunning it's a really versatile color as well like it will look sick with blue jeans you could wear it with black trousers you could wear it with white trousers it's one of those colors that goes with everything but most importantly it's really really cozy and that's why i wanted to pick it up as i've said about a million times in this video it's freezing at the minute and i don't like it and having something like this that i can chuck on that goes with everything that's cropped so it's still very cute is perfect the fit of it on top is actually quite boxy which i really like i think it fits so good i also picked this up in a small as i said i'm a six to eight that's probably why the fit is a little bit boxier and that's how i wanted it to be so i'm really really not complaining but as you can imagine there's not a huge amount to say about this because it is just a cropped crop jumper Anyways, guys, that is everything that I've got to show you in today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed these pieces. I think they're so, so good. It's probably the first winter Bershka haul I've done. Um, I did a summer one last year that 
blew up a little bit by my standards like for my channel it did blow up quite a bit and you guys seem to love that so i hope you love the winter stuff just as much winter shopping for me is just one of my favorite things to do especially in the run-up to christmas i absolutely love it the clothes are cute i feel like the styles this year are so wearable i think they're so sick especially that racing jacket i absolutely love i'm gonna leave this video here because i now have to rush off to london um but thank you so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe and i'll hopefully see you in my next video bye